If you like local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. Okay, we're here today uh, for the 10th annual car show at Dynamic Automotive. And Dynamic Automotive is a, a great uh, business in Frederick County, and they do a lot to support our community by generously uh, partnering with a lot of our nonprofits, including Second Chances Garage, the YMCA, and many others. And so I'm just going to pass the microphone. So on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I say thank you. Thank you. I'm Chris Colville, and on behalf of the YMCA, again, we want to thank Dynamic Automotive for today, as well as Second Chances Garage. We were the recipient of a van, which we're going to use for some of our outreach programs in the community, and so we're excited about that, and thank you for making a vision and a dream of ours come true. Hi, I'm Kelly Schultz. I'm the Secretary of Maryland's Department of Labor, and I'm here to celebrate the success of Dynamic Automotive, their apprentices, two youth apprenticeships that they're uh, graduating today, and to thank them not only for this part of their community outreach, which is making it possible for youth to have career opportunities that they would not have had otherwise, but also for having the foresight to bring so many different organizations together within the community in order to be able to have everybody share in the success that is so important when we talk about um, advancing the economic viability of so many here in Frederick County. So thank you, Dynamic Automotive. And I'd like to thank Dynamic Automotive for the trailer, for fixing the trailer and helping us um, basically deliver more food and be able to help more people in Frederick County. Without them, this really would not be possible. So thank you. I'm Rick from Second Chances Garage here in Frederick. We want to thank very much Dynamic Automotive for their help getting this van together that we were able to present to the YMCA today. Um, you're a critical part of our mission in helping us get cars together for families that need transportation here in Frederick County. So I want to thank you very much. And I'm Christine Pearl from Frederick County Public Schools. We have been fortunate to have Dynamic Automotive as partners for many, many years in our work-based learning programs. They serve as program advisory council members, as well as our local advisory um, for Frederick County FCPS and FCC that help guide the direction that we want to go uh, for career programming. But today we're here to recognize Dynamic Auto for graduating two of our students who participated in the Youth Apprenticeship Program. And we're very proud of the work they've done to promote not only the Youth Apprenticeship Program, but to promote the great work um, as we work together with Frederick County Public Schools and local community members, because really it takes all of us working together to train our workforce. Thank you, Dynamic Auto. I want to thank you all for the kind words. Uh, we have to work together to, to help the community and, and to grow, to help, to help our future generations, uh, to help the hungry. You know, I know, Mike, you struggled growing up finding food, and it drove you to start what you do, which is amazing. And the why, you know, it, it helps uh, the community, what, the programs and all. It, it helps keep the young people on the right path. Apprenticeship does. The why does. You know, full bellies do. You know. I'd like to say that we've all become friends through all this, and this friendship has helped the community and helped us grow. And I want to I want to give a special thanks to the team at Dynamic. They worked tirelessly to get this building ready. This 13,000 square foot of of mechanic building takes a lot to scrub and clean, and then to get the van ready and to get the trailer ready. They worked a lot of hours, a lot of late nights. No complaints. They know what this is for the community, but that's the team we have here. They're great people. I want to thank them and thank you all. Hello, this is Dwayne Myers from Dynamic Automotive. Today we're at our 10th annual benefit car show benefiting Second Chances Garage. We're at 8824 Urbana Church Road, Frederick, Maryland, 21704. We are full of cars already. We, we just got things kicked off. We got lots of cars, more are still coming in. We've got people everywhere. The community's come out to show their support. We're having a great time. We got music going, P special presentation at one o'clock. We're dedicating a trailer to Mike Dixon for Seeds of Life. We're also giving a van to the YMCA with Second Chances Garage. We are graduating two of our youth apprentices and uh, Department of Labor Secretary Schultz will be here for a special presentation. Hello, my name is Ben Kelke. Uh, I am uh, uh, privileged to be in this great gathering this afternoon. I am with Isaac Walton League, Frederick Chapter Number One. Uh, we are here uh, for our youth program. 
and we have two raffles going on. One is a car raffle and one is the pig roast raffle. And uh, I want to mention something about the Frederick County and the community in Frederick County, which all through all my years, I have never known any county to be as generous and as helpful to its community. And I am proud to be part of it. Uh, you can find all our information online uh, for uh, Frederick County, uh, Isaac Walton League at uh, frederickiwla.org. All that information is out there. And uh, please come to these events and support all your communities. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Lambert. My wife and I, Lena, own the Shine Shop Auto Detailing. We're privileged to be a sponsor this year uh, for the, the Dynamic Automotive Show. Uh, I think this is our fourth or fifth year here. Uh, we're happy. We're out front with uh, products for sale and uh, answer any detailing questions. So it's a privilege for us to be here. We appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark Luderman, and uh, I am uh, the the business advisor uh, consultant for Dynamic Automotive, and I am just absolutely thrilled to be here today. I brought my son with me. We came all the way from Reisterstown, and uh, what a glorious way to spend a beautiful Sunday where we're able to see some incredible cars, some great food, uh, be able to give back to the community, great uh, philanthropic organizations like Second Chance Garage. And uh, we're just thrilled to be here and be able to spend this incredible day here with Dynamic Automotive. Thanks, and I'm John Frawley from Second Chances Garage, and uh, we want to thank our great partners, Dynamic, and all the sponsors here, because Second Chances is going to be the beneficiary of the proceeds from the car show today, and it really helps us do our work, which is to take donated vehicles and fix them up for low-income families in Frederick County. We also do low-income repair. If you're a low-income person, you own a car, and you need it fixed, we can usually help you for about half what the local... Sorry, Dwayne. What the local garages charge, the, that's, uh, that's for the low-income family in Frederick County. We want to thank everybody. Uh, we couldn't do it without their help, and a uh, great car show, and uh, we hope to be involved in it for many years to come. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start the presentation. Thank you, first of all, for coming to the dynamic 10th anniversary car show. Uh, all the proceeds are going to go to uh, Second Chances Garage, which we really appreciate. It allows us to keep uh, providing low-income families with vehicles that we get on donation and repair. And it also allows us to continue to repair low-income low income people's cars uh, for about half what the local garages charge. So uh, we want to thank Dwayne, Dwayne and all the people at uh, uh, Dynamic Automotive for all their, for all their help. All right, first, I'm going to bring Dwayne up for a presentation on the lovely trailer that we're sending up. Hello, thank you all for coming, and welcome to, the, I think, the second day of summer. That's what I'm telling everybody. We, we got a non-raining day, and that's awesome. A great crowd of people from the community. We appreciate you all being here. Uh, the stage that we're on is a trailer uh, that belongs to Mike Dixon for Seeds of Life. Uh, he has done so much for the community. And he has brought food to probably a, a million families around here. This trailer came in with maybe one and a half tires, no fenders. <laughs> it, it, it had nothing. It was in terrible shape. The, the wood had termite holes in it. So the team here at Dynamic actually worked on this thing. Uh, we finished it last night. Uh, got it back together. And we're, we're dedicating this back to Mike. And... We're, we're hoping that he can deliver food to another million families in Frederick County. You know, this is, this is businesses in Frederick helping Frederick. Mike. Ahead, brother. Thank you. Can you hear me? All right. I really don't need the microphones. I'm pretty loud already. Um, this trailer has moved over a million pounds of food for Frederick families. Um, about a month ago, it was dubbed a death trap by State Highway Patrol. <laughs> but they still let me drive it. Um, but no, this is beautiful. This, this trailer will feed a lot of families. It will um, it'll move a lot of vegetables. We do a lot of things in the farm field with kids. Um, it's just, it's, I'm lost for words, really. This is really beautiful. And I wanna thank you guys for putting this together. Our pleasure, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, one of the things we're gonna do now is uh, we get a, we get about uh, 250 
vehicles donated to us in a year. This is one of them, and we're going to present it right now. And to do the presentation is the founder of Second Chances Garage, Rick Trawick. Thank you, John. We're here today to present this 2000 Ford Windstar. It was donated to us by the McNeil's family here in Frederick. So we're really appreciated of, of, of them and all the people who donate cars to us. Um, today we're presenting this car to the YMCA of Frederick and Chris we really love the stuff you guys do in the, in the city and county, and we know you need a vehicle to move people around, so it was a perfect match. This Windstar holds seven people at a time, so that'll get you around. And John Gruppenhoff, our shop manager, is here to give you the key. Woo! Right. I can hold him. Thank you. On behalf of the YMCA, first let me start off by saying um, great appreciation for Dynamic Automotive for all they do for the community. Um, obviously, Second Chance Garage has been a great addition to the Frederick community. We have partnered with them before on uh, just making referrals and uh, connecting families who are in need, so we really do appreciate what they've done. When we got word that we were going to be getting a van, we we're trying to determine how best to use it. So we're thinking about using it for our Camp Westmar up in Thurmont and also using it, one of the ideas we had is to do kind of a play on words where we would create a wrap text of some sort or signage and then we would call it Van Gogh and basically fill it with art supplies and sports equipment and things like that and we're going to take it around the community throughout the year each and every month and do just pop up you know giveaway services in communities that might be underserved where the kids might show up at nine o'clock on a Saturday and have free activities from nine to eleven get a free breakfast taco and at the end of the day they've had some make it take it art project or had a little sport instruction so that's what we're looking at doing is using it as an outreach vehicle throughout all of Frederick County and we appreciate you making this vision of mine come true glad to do it Woo. all right and second chances would also like to thank um, interstate batteries which gives us a new battery for every one of our program cars uh, Fitzgerald car quest that gives us great prices on parts and Gear Wrench, our official tool supplier of Second Chances Garage. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, thanks, Rick. So we have a lot of dignitaries on the stage. Rick and I, not one of them. So I'd like to call up right now the County Executive, Jan Gardner. Jan. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to be here on this second day of summer for this beautiful weather and this wonderful car show. And I really want to highlight how wonderful partner Dynamic Automotive is with the Frederick County community. As you can see, they're very generous in supporting a lot of community nonprofits, whether it's Seas of Life or the YMCA or Second Chances Garage. So on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I do have a proclamation that I'd like to read. Whereas today marks the 10th anniversary of the Dynamic Automotive Car Show, which combines fun, food, games, and cars with an emphasis on recognizing apprenticeship and supporting the Second Chances Garage. And whereas the partnership with the Second Chances Garage will help raise money for a grant for veterans and their families for affordable transportation and car repair. And whereas on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I want to applaud the Dynamic team for your vision as defenders of the automotive service industry by demonstrating a commitment to educate, inform, advise, and protect your customers on vehicle safety, repairs, and proper maintenance. So it's a privilege to be here for this wonderful car show, and so thank, please join me in congratulating Dynamic Auto on this special event. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. All right, uh, that's 
Uh, very nice and uh, very well appreciated. Dwayne, I want you to come back up here because you're next on the agenda, brother. Dwayne is going to be speaking about the Youth Apprentice Program they've got running here at Dynamic. Very, very important project. T today we're graduating two of our youth apprentices. You know, this is, it's a really special program to me. I, I look at this as a way to build our future, you know, to invest in our young generation. You know, what better can you do than help out the, the young people and give them the knowledge and the skill to grow? And by doing so, we're helping yourself because that helps the economy, it helps the community. And, and these two young men have done a great job. I'm so proud of them because they stuck it out. You know, take a 16, 17, 18 year old to, and made a 14 month commitment. But most can't make a two week commitment. And these guys stuck through it. They, they learned a lot. They helped us. We learned from them. And I'm really proud of them. And we want to recognize them today and bring them up on stage and, and give them an award and a certificate for, for the graduation. And, and what, what a, two amazing young men that, that have bright futures and, and with Dynamic and anywhere they go. Come on up, Ricky and Frankie. Small token of our appreciation for you com completing this. This is our future right here. You know, we need to invest in them and, and develop them. And by doing so, we're all going to be successful. I encourage all of you to, to check out the Youth Apprenticeship Program and, and put some time into it. And you know what? It's going to benefit them and yourself. Right now, I'd like to introduce Dr. Pearl from Frederick County Public Schools. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Good afternoon. It's such a pleasure to be here to represent Frederick County Public Schools. When we were approached by the Department of Labor Licensing and Regulation under the leadership of Secretary Schultz, we were thrilled to apply to pilot the Youth Apprenticeship Program. And it's because we know that employers like Dynamic Auto were, would be there to participate in the program, to train our students, to take them on for 450 hours in a paid position with a mentor and help them reach their potential to become college and career trained. So we're so thrilled that you're here today and we're thrilled for Dynamic Auto for your continued partnership with Frederick County Public Schools. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, it uh, is with great pleasure that I introduce to you uh, one of the true friends of Frederick County and Second Chances Garage and Dynamic Automotive, the secretary from the Maryland Department of Labor, is Kelly Schultz. I'm going to try to get all of this out because there's so much to say, although I know it's really hot. So first I want to say, when you give Dynamic Auto a challenge, they go with it 100% and they make it happen. So what you see around here today came from a conversation about how to celebrate the youth apprentices that are just graduating today and how we were going to make it meaningful for them and for the community. And so this is what you get. You get a couple thousand people that convene upon Urbana in order to be able to celebrate successes. And so that's very exciting. The Youth Apprenticeship Program, it could not have been possible without Frederick County Public Schools, Washington County Public Schools, those two pilot programs, and the businesses like Dynamic Automotive that were going to be a part of championing 
the way to be able to create new career opportunities for our youth. So this is a culmination of all of the efforts from so many people to be able to bring these types of success stories here. Our two youth apprenticeships that just graduated up here on the stage, they are now going to be entering into registered apprenticeship programs. This is not the end for them. This is the beginning of a valuable, well-paid, very well-meaning career. And they did it by seeing community support, community involvement, and I can guarantee you that that impact is as important for those students as the actual hands-on experience. So when we talk about getting this information out, expanding these types of programs statewide, the governor did announce about two weeks ago the expansion of the uh, pilot program in these two counties, that it will be a statewide program. And two weeks ago, we signed on the first additional county post-pilot program, which is Dorchester County. And we will take it to every county and every school district in the state so that everyone is gonna be able to do this. How so with that, we need to spread the word. I talk about this a lot, and for my team that's here, they hear me talk about it ad nauseum. So I need more people to continue to talk about this and to be our ambassadors. So a few months ago, we created our Apprenticeship Ambassador Program. And I'm very proud to say that the fourth member of our Ambassador Program is being given to today here at Dynamic Automotive to Dwayne and Jose and Lee, if you could all come up and get your certificate. If Dwayne and... So I, can, I cannot think of better ambassadors for our program than these three gentlemen and everything that they have done to spread the work here in Frederick County and outside of the county and everything that they continue to do to foster the opportunities for our youth and for those individuals that want to be able to create this um, wonderful program and wonderful futures. So this is for you and we even have pins for you that show it's a special Maryland Department of Labor Ambassador Penn. So thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. So what this means is that their job also has just begun because we fully anticipate that they are going to continue with their outreach and their ambassadorship is going to take them from one state of the area to the next and uh, we're going to grow this in a way that um, is going to continue to be the national model that I know we can make it to be. Thank you very much. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.